Joy News produced a series of reports warning of a possible May shortage following the fall army worm invasion. Here is a report done then by my colleague Justice Beidu. In this land, there is uncertainty. This time of the year should be the major harvest season, and yet there is very little to take home. Wumbe Al Hassan has spent nearly 2,000 cities cultivating this 10 acre farm over the last six months. Now, all the days of hard work has been brought down by the fall army worms. <laughs> Life is not normal again. There is hunger looming. How are we going to feed ourselves? How are we going to feed our families? Like Wumbe, hundreds, possibly thousands of farmers share similar stories of loss and pain. Since March this year, the pests have invaded nearly 120,000 hectares of farmland. Government pledged a fight back with its pesticide control program. That intervention, it seems, failed to trickle down to the people who needed it the most. Ascension officers here are, inad uh, are woefully inadequate. One officer will be taking, let's say, 20, 25 communities. He cannot pass the information. Malnutrition resulting from a lack of food is already causing enough havoc. It is responsible for up to a third of all childhood deaths in Ghana now. One in every five children is now stunted. This part of Ghana, already one of the country's poorest, is also the most affected. It is the reason why any further shortage in food resulting from this invasion could be grave. People in Bimbila, like many other farming communities, worry. But the impact of this year's army worm invasion will be felt in places far from here. Inside the Bimbila market, today is market day. This is one of the biggest food markets in the northern region. It is from here that foodstuffs like maize are sent to bigger cities like Accra and Kumasi. But this year, it seems it's not going to be business as usual. Inside, I meet Fauzia Zainabu, who retails maize from here for sale in markets in Accra. Last year, we were buying a bowl of maize for two CDs. This year, it's three CDs and it's even early days yet. There will be shortage. So in Accra, the price can go up to about seven CDs. Researchers say the worms could be even more destructive in the next farming season. It is the reason why an effective response should be now rather than later. Justice Beidou, Joy News, Bimbila. And that story was done in October last year, actually a warning to what we're experiencing at the moment. We're unable to get through to the buffer stock company for their response to what is happening so far.